Simon, ju just again, wh where are we? Uh, we're actually on the Saturday today. On the Saturday? Yeah. And um, last, last time we met at the Transmissions, Transmissions yeah. Transitions yeah, transition, exhibit, yeah. you were talking about your own work, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. sound work called Fraud. Mm -hmm. And uh, you said you were going to post it on the internet database? Yeah, I thought about it and you were, uh, sent me an email saying, is it a fraud to have post on the internet database? And I decided to destroy the original so I could be completely ephemeral and transient. So uh, the original work no longer exists in its original form. So, my thought about that is that there, there must be people on the internet who can't get to Exeter, didn't know about the exhibit, and they've lost it really, they won't have the chance to experience that. That's true, but if I'm playing piano at home, they've missed a chance to experience that also, because it's not posted on the internet. Not everything's on the internet, they need to get out more and come and see what's actually going on in the real world occasionally. Right, okay. So, the, the other thing is that you, you have, I believe, a number of aliases on, on the internet database, so it's not as if you haven't put anything on there. No, no, I've put some stuff on there, so all the children with the drone stuff's on there, my own personal stuff with Secret Boys on there. Um, I've already put some stuff on there, my Polish um, super name, which is Polish Swap Silly Swap, uh, but it's a bit hard to spell, but I will put it on there soon. Oh, right, okay. The, the, the other thing that strikes me is that you as a sound artist, uh, apart from this case where you've destroyed it, yeah. at least think about putting stuff on the on the I internet. Think I've got stuff on the internet yeah. Whereas visual artists, I think, seem to be a bit more reluctant to, to put stuff in, in high resolution. Yeah. Or... I, think, I think the sound artists or musicians generally will put like, um, samples of their work. So people will download a free sample and if they like it, they can buy some more stuff. I think visual artists could do the same thing, which whether they choose to or not, or whether they're aware of the technologies that they want to do that. Or, for, ex for example, interviews. I, I, I've just thought having visual art in the background of doing yeah. a, a chat show or a talk or whatever. Yeah, sounds good. I mean that again, but they don't. They don't seem very open to that. Yeah. Not in not in the way that musicians would think yeah. about it. By the way, if you were like a, a musician, your music being used for like theme tunes, like a chat show or something, that's good. Because every week we'll be able to credit at the end, giving you a music by whoever. So if you had a credit at the end of your show saying visual art by somebody, yeah, whoever, yeah, then they should like it. Someone takes some credit for the work. Right. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll try well. that then. Yeah, there's the differences as well. That, um, music's very ephemeral. It can be put onto a CD or a, a tape or whatever and, and transferred. Whereas uh, visual art is a physical thing that actually needs to be moved physically from one place to another. If you're going to hang some art in the background while you're filming people, yeah. that means someone has to bring it to us to get back. It's, um, well, you can take, bring the camera to where the art is. Oh, you could do that, yeah. yeah. In that case, yeah, then there's no problem with the... Uh, Yes, it's a question of them with permission, potential permission to do it. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. Well, I think what the, the basis of the next chat show will be to get some musicians in to explain uh, yeah. how their approach is working, yeah. assuming it is, and um, then see if we can work out how it works with visual art. Well, it might be nice to get some musicians who are doing that sort of stuff and some artists and say, get the musicians to sort of kind of explain to the artists how you can do it, how you can actually make some things freely available while maintaining your control of the copyright. Right, okay. Like explain the model <laughs> yeah. musicians use to yeah. the artists and see if they can get their heads around it. Is the idea. Yeah, okay. Well, Simon, we'll, we'll ask you about that ne next time. Next yeah. time we speak. Hopefully not later today when I'll be very drunk again. <laughs> no, well we've, we've caught you in the morning. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, it's technically the afternoon, but it's still early. <laughs> well, yes. Okay. And um, the, how, how are you enjoying the the, uh, the beer festival? Very much. Uh, yesterday I drank lots of different perries and uh, ciders and ales. Uh, me and a friend Adam were buying random unknown carb, two halves of random unknown ale uh, for each other and not knowing which one was which, and going, well, this one was nice, what was it? And we don't know. We were just quite quite random, it's quite good fun. Um, yeah, and I went off to the firehouse last night to see Spin 2 play, that's quite a good evening as well. Oh, right. So that, that was a sort of extension? It was an extension, yeah. Um, I think I get a... It was supposed to have been the same place all day. <laughs> <laughs> and the music had started here, but I felt like a change, a bit of a change of scene, so. Yeah, so, so was, there, was their music very different to the music here, or did it Not fit in? Really, I'd say. Yeah, it's very really similar kind of theme. And in the daytime yesterday, most of the bar stuff from the White House were here. <laughs> oh, right, right. Like, everyone who likes beer was here, so the staff <laughs> the Angel were here, the staff from the White House were here. It's quite the, the, 
place to be if you want to try out new beers. Right, so you, you think you think this event is going to stimulate some interest in, lo in local beers? It is definitely, yeah. yeah. I know the, the Angel Club doesn't particularly, well, they need some offer, that's the only other beer they do, but I don't think you think it's going to more, get some more of that sort of thing going on. Right. Which is good, really. Especially to what the Angel attracts the young drinkers. If you can get young people to do something that isn't just like this is large, that's going to be a good thing. So, were there any beers from outside the locality that were interesting? Um, I think all the ones I tried yesterday were Devon ones. Right. Everything I tried and before. you were quite happy with I that? I was quite happy with them, yeah. All right. Me. <laughs> all right. Well, well, we'll we'll finish on that note and maybe somebody will tell us if there were some beers from outside Devon. There that, probably are. But, there uh, probably are, yeah. but yeah. It tastes, it tastes like Devon to me. Okay. <laughs>